What's up guys, Ali and Adam back with another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about a very basic feature in FL Studio, but it does get underlooked, um, and that's called ghosting, ghost channels. So I use it all the time, and really everybody should be using it. And let's show you guys how to use ghosting and how to make your projects easier to use. Let's jump right in. So here we are, and I have a very basic uh, patch, and let's just play it back so you can hear the melody. Ghosting right now is off. So ghosting is beneficial because if you start editing a, another instance, in this case, this other channel, Massive 2, when we right click and go to Piano Roll, we no longer see the other melody. And if you wanna see that, you can go ahead and go to this top left arrow and go to Helpers and click on ghost channels or you can hit alt v now you're going to be able to see the other channels what they're playing in that same pattern window and then that way you can be like okay f i want to you know maybe go above and do some keys on top you can see what you're doing you can see what you're working with this is a very useful especially when you want to layer things and you want to maybe put things below an octave higher an octave so um Let's use this as an example because it's gonna be beneficial to us. You can also hit uh, Control Alt V or in this same window to also make those um, notes editable. So you can actually, you can actually edit them, but I won't need that. I don't actually use that feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and you'll see it's off now. So um, this is beneficial, we can see it and let's just go ahead and uh, maybe make a harmony with the other instance that I have. I have this one playing a melody and I'll make this one maybe make uh, some notes underneath it. Okay, that sounds cool. Um, let's make this longer. We'll make it eight bars and we'll come back to here and we can see all these gray notes are the ghosted uh, notes and I leave this on all the time. I really recommend leaving ghosted on. I'm gonna hit Control A, Control C, Control V and I'm gonna make it go down. Dun, dun, dun. That's cool, we have a nice uh, melody here. And to further show, you know, the power of this, let's go ahead and do a third one. Um, <clears throat> let's move this guy down. You can move that down with Alt and use the arrow keys. Alt, up, down, you can move that. Um, let's maybe make this one like a short, maybe like an ARP. Maybe on top. Let's add it on top. So we're gonna copy that. Let's... Last but not least, let's add a sub layer. Let's make sure this is mono, it is. Uh, mono trait, this one here, makes sure that it just always renews. You don't get overlapping clicks, so I'm gonna leave it on that. And that's too low, let's go up an octave. And what we can do is we can, you know, see this as an example, this is why ghosted channels are so great. I'm gonna copy this, paste it here, but I don't wanna go below D sharp. So I'm going to take the notes that are below D sharp, take it up an octave like that, and I should be happy with this. And of course, this is this is just very rough. But let's play back, see how it sounds. Sounds very muddy. Sounds very very muddy. Might have to tweak this.
<laughs> okay, the sub is horrendous, but don't mind that. Um, the whole idea of this is just so you can see how quickly you guys can get something going and really see your melodies. Of course, you want to hear it and see what's going on. And, um, you know, if I were to mix in the sub, I would probably uh, put a, a shelf EQ and cut out some of the lows on this one um, and just introduce the sub slightly just to give it some more body. But of course, these sounds are very thick on their own. So just remember that if you ever want to turn it off, just hit Alt V. If you want to turn it on again, Alt V. If you want to edit them, Control Alt V will allow you to edit them, which is really handy. So I hope you guys really like this. I use this all the time and I'm sure it's going to really benefit your workflow. So guys, I hope you really like this tutorial. I use ghost channels all the time. I've been using them ever since I discovered them. Uh, let me know of any other tips you guys use in the piano roll and what kind of tutorials you guys want to see, what kind of content you guys want to see. Um, in the near future, I'm going to be putting together different types of packs with percussion and synth sounds. So I'm going to be really excited to announce that. And as usual, I'm working on hilarious videos and some amazing tunes, really dope music that I can't wait to get in your hands. Make sure you guys drop a like for this video. Leave me a comment and stay subscribed. Remember to hit that notification bell so you guys are alerted of all my future uploads. So with that being said, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Love you guys. So